Hello guys, welcome by this fourth part of the missile launcher tutorial. In this part we're gonna merge our project together and we're gonna add some deflectors for the particles because well you'll see. So first off I have two project files. I've got the launch pad and I've got the missile. Well, let's start with the launch pad. Just open it up and as you can see this is only the launch pad and no missile. Well, we, we have to merge the project together so we're hitting file and hit merge and hit missile and that will get both of them in the same project which is pretty nice. Okay now I can remember that I rotated the uh, launch pad 60 degrees so I can move this rocket up 60 degrees it will be exactly the same as our launch pad and that's good that's okay only problem is that our missile is way too big so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shrink it down Shrink it down till the wings are not touching our hill, our uh, launch pad anymore. So let's center this a little bit and let's take a look. Okay, that can, can come a little bit more closer to the edge. Okay, this is good. Now, what we're going to do is, as you could see, the particles are going straight through our disk which is not really what I want or what we want it's going straight through our back of our project so if I render this out at well about this and we render it out it comes through Our back of our launch pad, and we don't want that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bounce the particles back inside of the tube. So, what we're gonna do is hold and click on the emitter, hold it, and let it go on deflector. So, now we have deflector. We're going to rotate this a 90 degrees so that we have it straight up to our um, launch pad but first we're gonna take the missile and we're gonna move it back really inside of the tube it's important so now we're about good. Yeah. So okay. Uh, now take the deflector and rotate it till it matches, till about matches our launch pad, and put it just inside of our launch pad. Now check it out if the particles coming through that thing yes if you are going too quickly it's going through it but that's just with scrubbing through if we hit F8 to render it all out as you can see it bounces all back which is pretty much what we want now another thing is our particles are living too long so we're going inside of the uh, missile, hit the emitter, and here we have lifetime. And we're going to set the lifetime to 30, uh, 30 frames. So we'll, the, the frames will live till about 30 frames. So if I hit F8 to, re to view what's happening here, it's becoming towards the nose right here. And that's also pretty much what we want, what I want at least. So, yeah, that's about it for adding deflectors.
Uh, I just gonna align. Oops. I'm gonna align the deflector up a little bit more. Because it's really in the center. So more like this, and uh, if we hit play, go back totally to frame zero and hit play, it should work here, as you can see, so it's pretty nice. Okay, this was it for part four, adding deflectors and merging everything together. Click on the center of the screen to go to the fifth part, which is animating the whole animation. Just like this file that I have right here. One moment. Just like my video on YouTube right here. We're going to animate it just like that. Well, you will notice that the smoke is coming through our tube anyway. That's the only negative part about Pyro Cluster. It's uh, not really good controllable. And yeah, so that's one thing. But uh, I'm doing this tutorial because it was asked. So, anyways, I'm just doing this tutorial right now. So, anyways, uh, in the next part, we're gonna create this animation just uh, getting up. Of the of the launch pad. So stay tuned. Click on the center of the screen to go to the next part, and we'll see you in the next part. Bye.